the way to do it is that you need to create and you know end demand supply chains by economic logic and commercial logic supply chains agglomerate which is an economic term it just it just basically means they concentrate uh, in places where the end demand is robust so why did China suddenly have a very very uh, strong uh, EV battery supply chain uh, it's not just China it's South Korea and Japan but let's talk about China here uh, it's because they they are now the world's biggest EV market, consumption-wise, because they've subsidized the consumption market so that they built a the largest EV market. I think they're now 53% or something like that, over half of global consumption of EVs. So when you have that market already, supply chains are automatically, automatically going to go there because that's where the market is. So one way to do it is you're going to have to also figure out how to create end demand, and naturally that's going to pull supply chains back to the United States if they see a market. Um, one analogy here is like, what, you know, why, um, why are, uh, you know, the traditional auto manufacturing supply chain concentrated in the Midwest and a little bit in Kentucky or Tennessee? Well, that's because of Detroit. And that's because U.S. is a huge auto market. And so it, so it makes a lot of sense for that supply chain ecosystem to be concentrated here. So the same logic applies to all these new areas. Um, but if we don't have the, you know, end demand, uh, it's very hard to, you know, uh, to convince, uh, uh, you know, companies to, to just come back uh, for what when the end demand is uh, in China or in Japan or in South Korea.